Let's get back to, uh, oh, here's uh, Russell Brand <sighs> having uh, lunch with Ben Shapiro. Somebody told me that they were doing this um, at a place in Fort Lauderdale that they recognized. Hmm. Um, it is it is apparently, this according to uh, Brandon, uh, who has emailed us, listener Brandon, it is the Alchemist Coffee Shop in Fort Lauderdale. Um, it looks nice, but um, the chat probably not so much. The amount of credulousness that uh, Brand seems to be uh, experiencing when he speaks to right wingers is just shocking. You mean given... conviviality? Yeah, that, that's another word for it. I mean, like he doesn't it, it doesn't extend that to like say MSNBC, which he says is the exact same as Fox, just on the other side. I got a uh, an email from well, we got an email from a uh, a Brit who uh, did not have much good to say about Russell Brand and that this was. His career had been uh, flailing, and he perceives this all to be a career move. I don't know. I think Russell Brand's just lost. He has no real ideology, and this is just sort of his interesting way forward for him. This is art project. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at, at, the, at the stats on human happiness, and that's not what I see across the West. I'm seeing rising, but put aside the suicidal ideation, I'm seeing fewer people than ever in married relationships, which marriage actually correlates pretty highly with happiness. Fewer people than ever having kids. Fewer people than ever even in a relationship period. Right? There's another double espresso. Thank you that that's happened. Because I look at how much I consume. Even as a, thank you very much, as even in recovery, <laughs> consume, consume, you well, you're a high energy dude. You're, you're a high energy dude. So. How would we do with them marshmallow tests, oh, man. Ben? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to leave these two marshmallows here. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. But if you wait five minutes, give me those marshmallows, where are they kept? <laughs> I mean, you tell, I mean, this is actually a more practical question. So you have a couple of kids. So what, what, yeah. drove, what drove you to have kids? I mean, because this is a big question in the West now. Why should you have kids, right? The, the economic reward for having kids stopped existing about two centuries ago in the West because it used to be that they were farm laborers. And so there was a pretty, and you also had to, you know, calculate against the possibility that a couple of them would die in, in infancy. And so a lot, a lot of people would have a lot of kids. And then, Literally everywhere on planet Earth. Sorry, there's another way to say that there was an economic reward for. First of all, the what he's referring to is not what I would apply in terms of my analysis to the reason that maybe people are more reticent to have kids in today's America. It's not that there's not an economic reward for having children. It's that there is a incredible strain on your resources because we have gotten rid of our social structures to such a degree. We've income inequality has become so rampant that supporting children financially and being responsible and doing so makes it it's a lot more difficult and of course for shapiro it's like a a pathology among the left in the west when in reality it's just like an obvious response to more dire economic circumstances because of conservative neoliberal politics policies like that shapiro has advocated for and so there was a pretty, and you also had to, you know, calculate against the possibility that a couple of them would die in, in infancy. And so a lot, a lot of people would have a lot of kids. And then literally everywhere on planet Earth, as prosperity goes up, childbearing goes down. And so the question becomes in a very prosperous society, why have kids? So I, I understand wonder, why I have what, kids. I wonder what, you know, who knows what invisible social pressures were at work. But I do know that I also felt like that I was lacking in purpose and meaning in my life and a sort of a sort of like a, a vacancy and a sort of a hum that I felt like you know when I think of them now particularly in their absence because I'm away working the love that I feel I can't even when you're like, with them I, I agree when you're with them get out of my life <laughs> as soon as you walk away you're like oh god they're the best they're so I mean, you know what he wasn't lacking was millions of dollars with which to raise a child. Yeah, he didn't need a financial incentive to have kids because he's a very famous wealthy person. He had more time than he knew what to do with. <laughs> and so then they have the luxury to just be like, oh, they're accents to my life as opposed to, you know, sources of stress if I can get food in their mouths. And then Ben Shapiro at the same time says, no free lunches in schools because that's degeneracy. Yes, of course. And of course, it also sounds like his wife does all the work around the house. Well, we know this from the previous <laughs> previous segment. Yeah. Is there any more to this? Yeah, let's just hear. I'm just 
perfect. They're so beautiful. They're so full. Like they, I even like whilst I you know take your point about the evidence of uh, um, malice, selfishness in the conduct of a child in the uncivilized, unsocialized. Well, child. they're innocent, but not not good, right? There's a difference between innocent and good. Ah, oh. Let me think about that for a couple oh, of months. Oh, uh, God. This is so <laughs> insufferable. I, I can't. I, it, it really is like, amazing. We're not, uh, the, I mean, I know it's for him about politics, but this is just like, I I, I don't love when people's just individual therapy sessions are copy, pa copy and pasted onto like political content. That's what that is. I mean, I, I'm glad that he found meeting and, and loves his children. That's great. That's uh, great. Sure, yeah. I don't know. Sure. You should stay off the of clip. Uh, I found boring. Yeah. He's just um, like, and the interesting, interesting part was that they left in uh, the like the the waiter coming by with the coffee. Yeah, that so was so weird. How, I mean, how I, friendly he is. I've, banter. I've, Thank you. I've listened to enough Russell Brand where I used to he used to make a show of being like, yeah, I'm I'm even I even shouldn't be having this coffee because of how seriously I take my addiction recovery. But I guess that's out the window now that he's hanging out with Ben Shapiro. I'm going to need that energy. One thing I noticed is that like uh, Ben looked different in a like a skinny jeans outside of his his studio setting. I'm not saying bad. These just bros wearing skinny different. jeans. What do you mean? He looks he the lighting is not that favorable to him there. It just looks different than his studio. Yeah. Oh, I'm not right. trying to be a jerk, but I mean he's horrible. He looks ugly is what you're so. saying. Yes. 